Audio Jump. Hello everyone, I'm Harry. Welcome back to King Kunsan Classroom. Today we will continue to talk about another Lepidopteran insect, the diamondback moth. The pest control of diamondback moths has been a long-standing topic because this tiny grayish-brown moth is the most destructive insect to the cruciferous plants around the world. They damage mainly brassica plants like cabbages, broccoli, and cauliflowers. So in some places, people also call it the cabbage moth. The diamondback moth is probably of European origin, but now it has already uh, been spread to all over the world, including Europe, uh, Asia, Africa, uh, the Americas, Australia, New Zealand, and even north of Canada, uh, where people often think that uh, these kind of uh, moths cannot survive the cold winter in Canada, but every year they emerge from the south and catch up the winds and travel to the north. The adults of diamondback moths have three small black triangle bands on the wings. When the wings put together, these triangles form three creamy diamond bands on the back. This is why it is called the diamondback moth. Like all Lepidopteran pests, the diamondback moth also has four life stages, egg, larvae, pupa, and adults. Actually, the larvae do all the damages to the crops, even though the larvae are very small. They have four instars, each with an average development time of about four days. The larvae body is pointed to both ends and fat in the middle. The younger larvae tend to be goldish brown, but they turn darker green with black heads in later instars. And there's a pair of pro legs at the end of their body, forming a distinctive V pattern. Uh, the larvae are quite sensitive, and when you touch them on the leaves, they may spin silk thread uh, and drop down from the leaves. When they feel not threatened, uh, they may come back to the leaves through the silk threads. Mm.